The Lost Soul dropped her dock lines and we were heading for our first anchorage of a new voyage. Excited? You bet. The same feeling that I felt the first time I set sail over 30 years ago was inside me. Pulling out past the breakwater, I couldn't help but wonder, what would I be feeling if and when I sailed back in? Would it be a few months? Would it be years? Would I ever sail back in? Those were real questions passing through my alleged mind. No matter what happens, I know I can sail her in. The motor stops. Who cares? I have sails. If the DVD doesn't work, so what? I can fix it when I get into port. Or do without. But cruising as a lifestyle is more than that. You want everything to work. And if it doesn't, you have to fix it. When I last left to go cruising, I was in fairly good shape. Round is a shape. And I had no trouble getting around. But now I'm sneaking up on 70 and I don't feel a lot different. But after a couple of days out there, I realized there were quite a few things I used to do I could no longer do. No, I don't mean things like set sail or drop anchor or steer a boat. Those are no problem. But I find myself asking for help when something goes awry in the battery room. Oh, I can still get in there, but it's a lot harder getting down on the old knees, or more importantly, getting back up. But I realized something else a lot more important. When the wind is starting to howl at our first night's anchorage and we were hoisting the hook and setting the reef sail in the middle of the night, I felt alive. No, I don't mean I felt just alive. I mean I felt alive. There was a spark inside me as a sail set with 25 knots of wind blowing us south, and I found myself smiling. Not a big deal, you say? I can't remember the last time I had a big old grin on my face like that. The bounce was back, the feeling was back, and we were alive and well. Sitting there with my life partner, both of us just taking in the night, was like old times. As the wind slackened, without word I would start easing the reef, Jody would ease the sheet lines. When the sails were right for the winds again, we sat in silence, both of us lost in our dreams and our reverie. No words were needed or wanted. We were where we belong, cruising. If something breaks, we can do our best to fix it. If we can't fix it, we can do without. If I can't get in the battery room, Jody can. <laughs>